Okay, so I've teleported to the year 3019 and I picked one of these up. This is an LED light that is powered on salt water. So I haven't tested this out. We're going to test it together on the video. Um, apparently, it can also charge your phone with it. I don't know about that. So I've read the instruction manual. We're just going to go right ahead into it. Those are the LEDs. It's got another light over here. I don't know. Oh, here's a USB port right there with the light. So you got to put salt in here and then you put the water after. So I read the instruction manuals and I'm quite skeptical as if it's going to work. There's no, there's no way to put batteries in here. This is, I don't even know what this part is. It says here, loose, tight. I don't know. There's, yeah, basically there's, there's nothing coming on as it is. Let's open it up. So the instructions say that you need to pour 21 grams of salt into the top of this in there. So I haven't weighed this, but I'm just going to make an assumption that it is 21 grams. Let's go for it. Okay, salt inside. And as you can see, it wasn't working before, right? And I'm not sure if this is going to work either. And then get some water in here. I don't know if you need to fill it up with it completely. Um, okay, 300 to 350 moles of water. I don't have that much of water here. We'll just make do. Um, that's definitely not that much water. It's fine. Let's see what happens. Okay, so apparently, um, like you can close it after you've done it, but you've got to leave this hole for ventilation. So this is not perfect, ideal condition since it's not full. Oh, it also says it needs to be level while you're operating. So let's check it out. Let's see if anything happens. I'll try and switch it on. Oh, what? It actually, it actually works. Look at this. Check this side now. This side is off, right? There. Look at that. That's amazing. Okay. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Yeah. Like, you can see it. Look, look at it shining on me. This is quite good for something that's powered by salt water. Okay, let's check the front lights. Can you guys see the difference? Like, I'm sure you guys can. Look at that. I mean, it's not the brightest um, light in the world, but I wouldn't expect it to be for something that's literally powered from salt. And apparently you can get 100 hours from one load of salt. That's amazing. Okay, last thing, let's try this out. Let's see if it can charge a phone. And this is like, this is a 4,000 milliamp phone, so I'll be impressed if it even shows anything on the screen when we're charging. Okay, so I'm plugging it in. And then you've got to change mode, so let's see. I'm on 80% now. Okay, let's, let's put it like this and let's see what happens. Now, let's see, switch modes. That's the other light that came on. Switch modes again. It's sort of charging. I mean, that's. It's probably because it's a f it's a large um, capacity phone that it's not pulling charge. But if you had um, a basic phone, it would probably do the job. Uh, it's struggling a bit here, but that would mean that it. I mean, it's definitely working. It's definitely doing something. Oh, it's probably not going to be good for your phone, but if you had a basic phone, um, it would be able to charge it. And if you were like in rural areas, or this would make such a big difference. I actually didn't think this was going to work, to be honest. Let me know what you guys think of this. 
Um, did you know that this ever existed before? Salt water powered LEDs. Um, and the fact that you can actually get a power out from it, it's, it's quite amazing because I mean, yeah, yo. Okay, so that's this review on this. Would I use it? I'm not sure, but the concept is amazing. And I mean, if you've potentially got, it works with seawater as well. So that's amazing if you live by the sea and you, I don't know, don't have power or something. I'm out guys, thanks for watching.